What's going on everybody? I'm Bro Draconix and we're back here for episode 4 of Welcome to Terra. Uh, I can't promise that at least part of this episode isn't going to be a time lapse because we're going to be doing some kind of boring stuff. But uh, I've added a little bit to the front of the buggy. So we need to go do some cleanup at some of these sites. I am taking a moment to run along and grab up these uh, food blocks left behind by the wolves. Alright. <clears throat> First one we need to go to. That one. Turn you back on. And we're going to go pick up that battery to bring back power that help power the base. And it looks like we're going to see the research station on the way there that popped up right at the end of last episode. So, you basically didn't miss anything. Uh, all I did was unload the buggy and uh, all the containers so that things could get processed. I did a little bit of repair work on the buggy and then added these uh, grinder arms that are on hinges and pistons so that we can go tear down the couple of kind of useless looking uh sites that we found that way we can either a have something else spawn in or at least return the area to its original look i'm hoping that that's gonna be okay got a little bit worried for a moment are you kidding me Ass is killing me with taking away my willpower. <laughs> All right, so Ooh, we're already almost to the research station. I have no idea what to expect out of this research station, except for the fact that it just turned red. bet that we are not quite ready for that yet. You know, I'm wondering if I take and... Uh, gee, block tools, grinders... Nope. Inventory full. Inventory 
four. Yeah, it was worth a try anyway. All right. I have grinders, not drills. It's like, ooh, rock. Yeah, that won't do us any good. Oh, that's right. This one's out here where the abandoned settlement was supposed to be that we never did find. Never let it be said that I don't think of the small animals and try to take care of them. if I've done this correctly the plates and the screws should transfer back into the main inventory if I haven't that that means I'm going to have to probably find a way to manually eject it and that's going to be a pain in the keister but this is how science learns I guess
Okay. All right, let's go see what kind of damage we can do. Oh, since it's right there. That's just satisfying. So satisfying. Actually helps if you turn them off.
Hmm. Inventory full. Know that we're not full. That's not good. All right, so this is definitely going to turn into a time lapse because I have a feeling I'm going to have to go all the way back to base and make changes to how I set this up so that the materials will actually go where they're supposed to. The upside is, is we got that battery. don't know if there's any more on here or not. did not take long. Okay.
Yeah. That one is not happening right now. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pause here. I'm going to go catch some sleep, and then when I get up, I will do a time lapse of fixing the buggy up, coming back and cleaning up this site, and hacking this battery so that we can try to do something more adventure like, like trying to figure out that research station with the next episode. So sit back and relax. It's going to be a crazy ride.